What up, everybody? Instructor Boots back again. Today, talking about borrowing across zeros while subtracting. Um, and this is a part of our adding and subtracting decimals playlist, but it's a great skill for you just if you need a review of this specifically. So today I will be able to borrow across zeros when I am subtracting. That's our goal. So after the lesson, you should be able to do that. And so our steps for adding and subtracting. Um, first thing we want to do right is we want to line up the place values by lining up our decimal. That's how we do that. We want to fill in place value holders if you need to, if that's going to help you. We want to take it one step at a time. And we want to woo, drop it like it's hot, hot, like Snoop Dogg and uh, Pharrell, I think, made that song. Great song. Probably inappropriate, but great song. Um, and so conceptually, what is happening? I'm not sure I said that word right. Conceptually, what is happening when we subtract, right? And so if we have 200 minus 78, okay, I want to write this in expanded form to kind of show you guys what's happening when we're trying to do this, okay? And so obviously this would be 200, and I'm going to put plus zero, plus zero. You don't have to do that when you're writing expanded form, but it's just going to help for the part of the video. And then 70 plus 8, okay? And my line is terrible, but that's okay. So when I'm doing 0 minus 8, right? If, if I have $0, you cannot beat me up and take 8. But I can't borrow from the 0, which leads me to my first point. You cannot borrow from a 0, right? If I'm trying to borrow from someone and they're broke too, they don't have any money to give me. Which means I need to go all the way across to my next digit that has a value, which is 200, right? And I need to borrow. Now, Again, when you borrow, since this is a hundreds place, you're borrowing 100, which makes to this 100. You're giving the 100 back to the tens place first. So now this isn't a 0, it's a 100. I still can't do 0 minus 8, which means now I need to borrow from this 100. And because it's in the tens place, I'm going to borrow a 10. And this is going to become 90. And now this becomes 10. So conceptually what's happening when you're borrowing is you're actually not just taking 10 and then giving 10 and giving 10, right? Whatever you're taking from the place value, so hundreds, you're giving the hundred to the next place value, and then you're going to take 10 from that place value to give to the ones place. And now 10 minus 8 is 2, 90 now minus 70 is 20, 100 minus 0 is 100, right? We need to do that in span form. And so my answer is going to be 100. 22. Now, if I show right the shortcut of what we've kind of been taught since we were probably in second grade and we line up our place values, okay, I can't borrow from here, so I need to come next door. I can't borrow from a zero, so I come here. This becomes a one. Well, really, it's a 100, right? That's what's happening. And we're giving the 100 next to my tens place, so I'm making this a 10. Well, 10 groups of 10 would be 100, right? Still can't borrow here. So now I take one of my groups of 10, so this is now going to become a 9, give it there. Well, really this 9 is a 90, because I just took 10 away from it, and now I can subtract, right? So conceptually, conceptually, this is what is happening. You're borrowing from each place value. That's why it's important to line our place values up. The shortcut again, though, if you don't want to write an expanded form, which is completely understandable, is you, every place value, you stop and you ask yourself, more on the top. No need to stop. More on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. So what is the difference between 430,036 and 5,855? Again, the word difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So we annotate that. I'm going to line it up. And this time I'm not going to do it with um, expanded form because you know, you don't want to be 50 subtracting and expanded form while you're at the retirement club. That would be embarrassing. And we're going to take it one step at a time. Okay, so 6 minus 5, more on the top, no need to stop. 3 minus 5, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Ooh, can't borrow from my broke friend. So he needs to go to the thousands, and well, my thousands place is broke too. So he needs to go to the ten thousands, and now I'm going to borrow a ten thousand. So that's going to become 2, and this becomes a 10, right? Well, I still can't borrow 3 minus 5, or I still can't do 3 minus 5, so now this not 10 groups of 1,000 is going to become a 9. 
and then I'm going to give the 10 here. So now I have a 10 in my hundreds place. Well, I still can't do 30 minus 50 right here. So now I need to borrow from my 10, which is really a 10 groups of 100,000. And I'm going to make it a 9. And now I get 10 more here. So now I can do 13 minus 5, which is really 13 tens minus 5 tens. And my answer is going to be 8, unless I'm really bad at math. Now 9 minus 8, more in the top, no need to stop. Put my comma. 9 minus 5, more in the top, no need to stop. And then I don't have anything here, so I can put zeros if it makes me feel better. Or I can just do 20,000 minus 0,000 is 20,000. And then 400,000 minus 0,000 is 400,000. So my difference should be 424,181. Go ahead and try this one, okay? And I just added a variable here. Um, that just basically is a number that we don't know that we're trying to find. So go ahead and pause it, line up your digits. Line up, sorry, line up your place values, and then solve it. Go ahead and push play, and we'll check it. So hopefully you just checked it, and we have 305,703 minus 66,425. I know my decimals would be right here because these are whole numbers, so my decimals are lined up, which means my place values are lined up. Let me get a different colored pen. So I'm going to take it one step at a time, start my ones place. 3 minus 5. Mm, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, but my friend is broke, so I need to come to my hundreds place and borrow 100. Then that be my 10 becomes a, or my tens place becomes a 10. Then I still can't borrow, so I need to borrow from that to make that a 9, which is really a 90. Borrow that, and so that is going to become an 8. 9 minus 2 is 7. 6 minus 4, more on the top, no need to stop, is a 2. 5 minus 6. Mm, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, can't borrow from a zero, so that becomes a two, and I'm getting 10 more, which is really 10 groups of 10,000, but whatever. Five minus six, more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more, and now I can borrow, right? So that's going to become a nine, more on the top, no need to stop, more on the top, no need to stop, and the difference, or what we would say is 239,278 equals... Why? As always, I hope this has helped. Please check us out on YouTube at, at Instructed Beats. You can click the thumbnail to take you to our adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing decimal song. Check us out on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. And you can always email us at instructedbeats at gmail.com. Instructed Beats out.